Hello my friends, this is Sherry. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel. My channel is Turquoise Dreaming and today is Hashtag Tag Tuesday. And this is a, a, a open collab where I am the host. Anyone's welcome to participate any Tuesday you want to post a video regarding making tags for any kind of uh, you know theme or any tag you would like. Uh, you can post it on any Tuesday. There's no prompts. It's just uh, you know, we just want to have fun making tags. It's a piece of ephemera that I love to make. So speaking of ephemera, I wanted to answer a subscriber's question about what is ephemera? <laughs> so yeah, that's a loaded question, isn't it? So, uh, but a good one. So uh, let me start where, uh, let me start over here. I'm going to show you some tags I made too, but let me just show you and answer the question, what is ephemera? So I think ephemera, you know, maybe the beginning of ephemera used to be, or, you know, how it started was uh, just pieces of things, papers, whatever, that uh, were temporary and that you didn't, didn't you know, they were made out of papers and things, but they weren't necessarily meant for us to keep forever. But since we're uh, sentimental and <laughs> human beings, we like to keep things that remind us of things. I mean, I know I did it when I was a kid. I kept things in a scrapbook. So I just got out a few things here to show you. Maybe things that were we keep and now we use in our crafting that weren't really meant to be kept. For instance, currently... Uh, we've been, we got a new game. Uh, my younger son gave it to my older son for Christmas, and it's a game called Herd Mentality. If you want a new fun game, it's real easy to learn, and it's a lot of fun to play with a group. Uh, so um, it's Herd Mentality, H-E-R-D, like herding cows. Anyway, these are the little papers that came with the game that we use to write down our ant our things that we have to write down during the game. And, of course, most people would just throw these away. So that's what ephemera is kind of, I think, basically or started out maybe as when I, before scrapbooking and things like that. It was just things that were temporary papers and tickets and things. So, uh, yeah, so when the game was over, I said, hey, give me all your little <laughs> just sheets of paper so I can put them in my scrapbook, right, or my junk journal. So that's currently one example of ephemera. This is some old ephemera. My uh, kids went to an antique shop that was closing and they got um, all of the paper that they could find in the antique shop and got it for me. <laughs> so uh, I'll just show you a couple things in here. I'm not gonna show you the whole stack. Um, this maybe isn't necessarily a good example, but it is an example of a uh, United States Railroad Administration uh, Railroad uh, for account of the month, so an accounting or a bill or something. This is the cover of it, actually. Here's some writing on here <laughs> to do with the accounting. These are really old, 1919. So this is an antique piece of paper. So maybe not necessarily a piece of paper that was meant to be kept until 2023, but here it is in my ephemera stack. And then these are just some insurance uh, bill bills or receipts. And that that's 1948. I don't think that was meant to keep, be kept this long. So those are some examples of old ephemera. Here's a uh, Metropolitan Life Insurance uh, little booklet, coupon booklet. Here it says premium payment payment coupon and record book. And here is all these little cool that we think is awesome now. That you know, most people when they you know are paying this, this making these payments a long time ago, maybe kept these for a little while, but then threw them away. So it's kind of cool to have something that most people threw away, and here it is now. We think it's gorgeous and beautiful, right? <laughs> Look at that green on there. I mean, isn't that cool? <laughs> and the typing, you know, um, probably. I mean, it had to be have have, have been typed with a typewriter, don't you think? And then they stapled it all together here. I don't know. Here's just a handwritten piece of ephemera with some their policy numbers and a date, 1977. Another one of those um, policy book. Here's a letter from 1978. You know, more policy books. 
So I'm just showing you, this is an example of some older ephemera that you might find uh, in your, you know, at an estate sale or like my kids found this in an antique shop. So that's an example of some old ephemera that wasn't really meant to be kept, but here it is in my craft stash, right? <laughs> so another example of current ephemera. Now that ephemera is so popular in scrapbooking and junk journals, we've got Tim Holtz ephemera. And it says right there, ephemera pack. And there we go. There's all the beautiful ephemera that Tim Holtz and uh, ideology he makes for the ideology line. This is the Christmas uh, ephemera pack. So uh, we love that. And then here's another. This is Vicky, Bo Vicky Booten uh, ephemera. And I believe it says it on her label too. I've gotten a couple of these recently and they both say uh, ephemera on it. Let me see. I've got the label right here. Uh, does it say? Oh, it says embellishments on here. But we consider any little things like this these little pieces in little packs that you can buy now at I got this at Tuesday morning but they also have them you know of course at Michael's and Joann's so or online or whatever so uh, current day ephemera that is specifically made for our crafting junk journal scrapbooks you know whatever we want to make out of them pretty much the, your imagination is your limit right so on to Tag Tuesday <laughs> I hope that answered the question. If you have any more questions about ephemera, I will be glad to try and answer it. But, um, okay, so this is a little project. Let me show you. This is a box I had on my bottom shelf of my rolling cart here in my craft room. Now, it wasn't together like this. It was pieces. And when I uh, was reorganizing my craft room for the last probably six months, <laughs> I had that bottom shelf and I said, I have got to... There were some things that were not in my in my crafty stash and some things that were just pieces. Some things were already in my, um, what I mean to say crafty stash, I mean things that I thought were ready to go, but then I looked through everything and I was like, oh, this needs something, that needs something, this needs something, you know, so I pulled all that out. So let me, sh I'm going to do a quick little flip through here. This uh, I hope won't take very long, but I'm just going to show you what I kind of what I did as a little flip through to finish these out and now I feel like they're ready to go I can put them in a junk journal right or put it in happy mail or send it along with an order if I want to I had made a uh, some a lot of these are from master board so like here's a master board tag and I added this little for some reason I put these two together and I thought, I thought well they look really cute together I'm going to leave that as a little set with a little paper clip and that is ready to go into a journal. All my tags I usually leave, I usually 99.9% .9 of the time use writing, leave writing space on the back. This was another master board, so these were all master board tags. You know, I had to cut them out. I had to do the master board. I had to cut them out, I sew them around, and then I put, some of them I put little, like um, this one I put a word on, and or maybe that, maybe I put that I'm trying to think, did I put that on after? I think I did. I was sitting here one night, I remember now. I was sitting here one night in my craft room just looking through my words and things like that, numbers and things, and adding some things to, like here's the number. See, I added a little number on there. Just to, you know, I, if I felt like it needed something, I put a little number on there. And see, I didn't put even, um, I didn't put, I didn't feel like I needed to even put a, uh, topper on all of these. I just wanted to go through them and see if what I needed to put on here is a number on this one. Here's a little tag that, uh, I don't know, I was probably had it in there and I needed to add something and I added this little topper. There's so many here I don't even know what all I did but let me just flip through without <laughs> talking about everyone because that will take me forever. But these are basically uh, uh, mostly tags. There's a, some journal cards in here too but as you can see, these are some cool um, master board type things that I cut up. And aren't they cute? These, um, This one, this particular master board, I'm, I think I remember this one, I collaged on both sides. So you've got cool stuff on both sides of those. So yeah, here's some more of those. You can see, I'll try to show you the back too. As I Let me move it over a little bit so you can, it can be in the middle here and I can show you both sides. But, uh, yeah, see that one? This was uh, 
colorful on this side and neutral. So that's one way to, uh, I think this was something that needed, I wanted to cover up and I used neutral scraps on this side, not just a solid. So that, that's actually a good idea I need to remember. This can be written over, it's light. That was a, a pamphlet I covered up. Uh, but those are all journaling cards and I, you know, I've sewn around all of these. So, you know, that it takes some time if you've ever done it. <laughs> it takes a little time to get around all of those with your sewing. Uh, these are straight stitched here. Here's some neutrals. So yeah, I'm considering all of these done. All different sizes. It's a pretty church there. All different sizes uh, of tags. Oh, here's some little things uh, that I had made, little sale tags. These right here, I feel like they're ready to go. Um, I, this is cute. This is from the inside of a music uh, book. They had the, it looks like a yearbook, but it was from the inside of a music book. This, these were too, oh, from that same music book. Here's a beautiful one that I covered with some different laces and things. I uh, used a, this looks like it might have been from a music book too, not sure. <laughs> a little flower tag that I just added this uh, lace. Oops, it came off. I'll put it on after the video, but that one came off. It has a little opening right here. See that? So I'll slip it right back on there. A pretty little one here. I might have, um, I don't know, I added pieces to that. Oh, here's another little flower tag from a plant, you know, that you get at Walmart or wherever you get your plants. This is a, uh, oh, this was a fun one. This was uh, the fire extinguisher at work, I think. Yeah, fire extinguisher. And the guy, you know, they how they come and inspect it like once a year. And he took this tag off and put a new one on there after the inspection and threw this one in the trash. I was like, oh, that's a pretty tag. Give me that right now. After he left, I took it out of the trash because I saw it in there. I was like, oh my goodness, he threw that in the trash. That's for me. <laughs> so, and there's some other pretty tags here. Made out of, uh, these were made out of, uh, oh, cover to a braille book that I had picked up at a thrift store. And I just thought the color was so pretty and I didn't want to throw it away. See here, it says Braille on the back. So I covered those. I just had the t bare tags sitting here waiting for me to do something with. So that's what I did. I just did something on all of them. So that's part of the stack here. I mean, there. this took me a good, good while to get through all this. That's why I think I put it, you know, I didn't put it off. I just never got <laughs> around to it in the last year because that stuff was sitting down there. Look at this one. I just, this was a little uh, <laughs> piece of paper from something, maybe packaging. And it might have said something in the middle of the circle and I added a little one inch piece of scrapbook paper circle and a little flower there. And then, then a little piece of seam binding. And just all little pieces I put together. I had these pieces sitting, sitting around See this here, these two pieces, and uh, just decided to put them down on here. And I added a little, this is fabric ribbon and another one of those little flowers that I just showed you. Like, they're like appliques. Uh, see, I put a flower on the front and the back. Oh, I know I added a little layering to these. These were, uh, I don't know if they had this on there already, but at first they were just book page. See? They're just book pages that I folded and folded, and so I had several layers, and they're nice and sturdy. And uh, then I added this on top and some layering of, it looks like washi tape and scrap of paper maybe. Yeah, just, there's a, that's from a book, picture from a book. Here's some more of those. I just put these pieces together with the pretty scrapbook paper. I like that peachy pink with the green, so I may have made several of those. Uh, just pieces I had sitting around. Uh, these are little pieces I had sitting, just paper pieces. And they're printed and from a leftover from a, when I was on a design team. And I just added some little pieces here as a little, you know, embellishment or cluster. Just little pieces of lace and stuff like that. This one too. Pretty 
cute, I think. Yeah, let me just go through these real quick because I did several of these one, one night. I did it just was like had these little pieces out and just added several pieces to all of these little. These are cardstock. I have some papery ones and some cardstock ones. There we go. And some more of these, uh, these uh, cards that um, I probably just sewed around these. See the zigzag stitching. These were probably sitting without the stitching, and I just stitched around all of these. These all have, well, some of them have the uh, scrappy, you know, collage neutrals, and oh, that's a cool one with a piece of an envelope there. This one is a, a brochure that had a map on it, and this is just a solid piece on this one. And here I added a word, maybe, <laughs> and all the stitching, of course. Yeah, these were master boards that I had sitting in my craft room for a long time and I finally cut them up because I remember I did this in Florida actually when I was at my parents house and uh, that was you know the craft I took along for that trip to work on in my spare time when we were just sitting around at the house or whatever or at night when I wasn't tired and everybody else went to bed <laughs> I would sit out and do uh, collage and make master boards and that was like three, or at least three years ago, maybe four. When I just, was that a string? Oh, no, that's something on there. Okay, so anyway, yeah, so I finally, uh, in the last year, cut that up and just uh, made cards here and sewed around them all. So that's what all of these are. So, yeah, journal cards and tags today. And it, I really love to see how they come out when you cut up, when you make a master board. And you kind of maybe might be coordinating a little bit, but even if it's just random, it's very, they come out. I always love how they turn out. <laughs> it's so cool. But I do like to sew around them a lot of times, most of the time, I would say. So all these are sewn around. Made from scraps, a lot of them. Memories. Yeah, that was the year I was trying to, I used up all my scraps, every single piece. That's what I did. Yep. I know I've said that before, but uh, I used up every single scrap, and that's why I took it to Florida. I took my, I, I was trying to figure out what to take with me when we were going to Florida, what to, what I wanted to craft while I was there, and I was like, you know, I didn't have a lot of time to think about it or gather a lot of things together, so I just took all my scraps and, <laughs> you know, like paper cutters, scissors, glue and went went to town. Oh, this is a little painty thing that I did. Well, that's cute. <laughs> this is a little painty, um, like swatch paint. Pa I painted on the book page and then I doodled. Yeah, I was experimenting with this. So that's actually cute. Now they come back and look at it. I mean, I think it was cute at the time. That's why it's in here. If I didn't like it, I would have thrown it away probably. But uh, yeah, some uh, paints and then I drew with a marker or a pen around it. Oh, this was this is a uh, a marker that I have like a fine kind of almost like a fine tip marker uh, and I drew around the little squares and then I doodled into each one inside each one. So that came out cute. Yeah, I had never done that before and I was just kind of fooling around with that seeing if I could actually do something that looked good. <laughs> so these are made with paper and magazine and scrapbook paper. Here's just a, this was a piece of file folder, probably that I, scrap that I had, and I just cut it out so it looked like a journaling card, like the size, and then rounded the corners. So we've got a few more minutes. I think we're going to make it through this whole stack. I mean, this is a lot of stuff, right? That's why it uh, took a while. Uh, these were papers that a friend sent me, and uh, she put them into a little booklet where she had it bound, but she said she wanted me to take apart, take it apart and she wanted to see what I would do with it. So, uh, let's see. Some of them, like, I think she, I'm trying to think. She, uh, I think she. these were separate, and I put them together with a piece of, yeah, I think that's what I did. I put them together with a piece of, wa piece of washi here. So you have, I have my my son's dog in here if you hear any noises. That was her. We're, we're dog sitting this weekend. But, uh, or for the next week while well, he's, uh, busy doing things out of town but um washi tape to join these two together she see she had originally had washi tape here 
and it was separate but I put it together so this was like a little you know flip up where you could write here you could actually write back here too and then you have this pretty piece over it so that I'll, I'll be able to slip into a journal and did the same thing here just put two of her pieces together with some washi tape let's see here's another one uh, this was I don't know if this was hers or mine this looks like something I might have printed but it might have been hers but she I just put those two pieces together here is this is a little pocket here one of those pieces of the braille book cover here's another piece from her and uh, I don't know if it was like this or I put that on there but I think she sent me that if you know what I mean so yeah just her pieces I might have taken that off of one of her other pieces and put it on here this is a little like small bridge score sheet and it just these colors of course go really good together oh, okay she did both sides on this one nevertheless she persisted so a really cute little piece there cute here. oh I put this on here and she she sent me this that's a really cool piece of paper and then I put that on there beauty so that's ready to go this is uh, from her and or both of these are this one I left plain I see and this one has a little piece under right there I know I took some of her things apart that had little pieces on it and then I used the little pieces so very cool right and this was from her too I might I think I glued these two pieces together see how this is ledger and then glued that on top of there okay I think that's all from her and these are some more masterboard pieces Make, start making another pile over here. <laughs> this is a tall one. This is made from security envelope. <clears throat> Some, uh, I might have added, I wonder if I just added these recently. This little piece, I think I did. I added this, a little scrap there, and that little eight. Uh, see on this one I probably just added the word wish. See I had these and just thought, well they need something. And I, you know, made sure they, if I wanted a topper, I put a topper. Added a number on that one, a little piece right there. And see, these all have numbers. This is one of my painty paper, actual original, not a copy, painty paper. And made that into a tag. That's beautiful. I need to do some more of those. And these are just master boards here. This is a jelly print. Is there a couple of them there that I added? I probably just added this part here, this lace, and sewed that on. And I might have just cut it apart, too. I, I think I have a few more painty papers. Oh, here's another one. That is so pretty. I love that. Oh, that was a jelly print, I think, too. That's right. I think it was. <laughs> uh, Masterboard. This is a jelly print. These little pieces, I think I had these and I just needed some, like a topper on them. So I put the little Baker's twine on there. Okay, a few more. Oh, these are from, let me see. Let me see what we have here. Almost done. Just in the nick of time, too. <laughs> okay, here's another one of those pieces that, that I'm sure this was packaging. It just feels like that. You know that packaging. It's a little thicker than cardstock sometimes. But it was so cute. It looks like it has sprinkles on it. So I had saved that and cut it up and made little tags. This was like a little piece of ephemera that I thought would make a cute tag, I guess. <laughs> and then I made it into a tag, put a hole in it, and put this little seam binding on it. This was a random piece of scrap scrapbook paper that I just added a little topper to match the yellow. Uh, this was a, oh these are some, let me see, let me get this one. This is a picture that I had that I just, uh, yeah I think I had the picture and I was like, well I want to do something with it and I just put it on some card stock or, it almost feels like packaging too, and this little trim I put on as, as a topper. Uh, let's, let's, oh, let's finish this. Okay, so these are some little, I had a strip of scrapbook paper and this purple Scooby-Doo card and I just thought that, of course, they look purple, perfect together. And uh, I had, I guess I just, I think I folded it over and just left that because it would have been a scrap if I cut it off. And then, uh, so you have a decoration in here, writing room. You have the Scooby-Doo card, which is super cute. I love Scooby-Doo. And uh, I think I rounded the corners here after. That's how I how you get this little divot in your, if you fold over a piece of paper like that. And then uh, these are, 
Oh, I did the same thing. I had these pictures cut out from a book. This is uh, Madame Curie, and I just put it on this coffee dye paper so that it could be, I can put it, be put in a pocket or it could be glued down and you have a little flip up there if, if you want to, somebody wants to, if I want to do it that way. Or this is some lined coffee dyed paper. Did the same thing with that picture. And here's another picture. These all I cut out of, I think, Reader's Digest. And I think these are all Madame Curie. You can put them on coffee dyed paper. <laughs> so I'm going to keep these in this box and have it here now in my craft room. But I had it on the dresser behind me to show you because uh, for a good while now I, I wanted to go through these a little bit and show you what I had done because it was all part of reorganizing my craft room and getting that bottom shelf of my rolling cart cleaned out because it I had several projects there that I had been uh, wanting to get to and just hadn't got to over the last year. So these are some jelly prints that I cut up and I, then I... I felt like they weren't finished, so I added little words here from some word stickers. Today is the day. Super important things and added little toppers. I just stapled them on. Those on, I thought they were cute. Just stapled on like that with it. Because they're small, and then they have a little staple there. I just thought that was cute. cute, cute. This is another jelly print. Where I added a flower sticker and another flower up there in that little tag. So these are all like that. I won't show everyone, but I mean, I'll show you, but I won't talk about the details I'll just show you the rest of these and that jelly print turned out so gorgeous didn't it even this one looks very uh uh kind of it's a jelly print but it almost looks like uh the scrap and maybe it was the scrap from a jelly print but very artsy I thought and then uh these I uh <laughs> you can see scrapbook paper or cardstock or oh, are these painted these are painted. Okay. I painted some cardstock. Okay. I painted some cardstock. I can, I can, you can almost feel the paint, but it's very smooth. But added a piece of paper that matched and a little sticker flower there. So that's what I did on these. Cut up a piece of card, um, looks like file folder that I had painted. Good way to use up some paints, right? And I could add something else to these, but I think they're cute just like that. This is another, this is a, I was stenciling, I guess, with these. I think this was a stenciling uh, prompt for one of our collabs, and I had just um, stenciled on a paper or cards file folder and then cut them up into like journaling card shapes. Here's another, some of that painted paper that I cut into tags, that same purple that I didn't stencil on, I guess, and added some matching scrapbook paper and little flowers. This is a applique-like flower. And this is a sticker flower. So, and we've got writing space in the back. A little journaling card from a master board. This is, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a little, one of the little flip up, uh, uh, you know, flip ups. But this one I did this way because this is orient, you know, oriented different, you know, landscape. So I did it like this on, this is avocado dyed scrapbook paper. And isn't that pretty? Here's another one with the landscape orientation. Very pretty. And then these are all, okay, these are pieces I had and I put them together with some pretty scrapbook paper that these are all avocado dyed on the back right here. But again, more of the flip ups made with uh, leftover prints from a digital kit from when I was on a design team and just needed to do something with those, right? So I made all these little flip-ups that are not now ready to go into journals. And these are that's what these all are. I won't open them all up, but that's what these are all are. And I have been working on these. And if you watch my Tag Tuesdays, you've watched me try to use all these. And uh, this is what I did with the balance of them because I just had them sitting here and wanted to do something with them. I think they're really cool. I really like that, so I gotta remember. But I have a bunch now. I don't need to make any anytime soon. But they're all very vintagey, aren't they? And very pretty. I just really love them. Just look at that. It's so cool. First of all, I love the paper, the scrapbook. I mean, the uh, coffee dyed paper or avocado dyed paper. And then I love the little leftover printout. So I really, you know. I was going, I was determined to do something with them. I'm just trying to see the orienta orientation on all of these, but that's what all of these are. 
Yep, still, still that same little flip out. Because I have lots of tags and journaling cards. So I think I did all these to do something different. I'm like, I have enough tags. I have enough journaling cards. Let's do something different. You know what I mean? So there, we made it through the end. So I hope you enjoy just seeing and maybe getting some ideas from that. Um, you know, from all the different things and what you can use, what you can put together and things like that. And, uh, you know, take a little time, get this stuff done and you'll have... You'll be happy that your craft room is organized and that you did something with the stuff, you know. Not just let it sit around and now it's ready to go. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the explanation of Ephemera 2. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see, all, see you all in my next video and I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting.